Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Dilettantes Dollhouse and we are finally painting the roof shingles. So if you didn't get a chance to see my previous video, I'll link that in the description box below. But what I'm doing here is I have just gone ahead and made a few rows of shingles and I'm painting them with some paint colors that I mixed up myself. So it's just some black and some white, nothing fancy, just regular craft acrylic paint. And what I'm doing is I've mixed the colors together and I wanted to see how the base coat covered to kind of get an idea of how many coats I was going to need. And then I also had some ideas for adding some dimension and texture. I didn't want to just paint the whole roof a flat gray. I wanted it to have some interest to it. So that's what I'm going to do in this and show you a couple different ways on how I apply that throughout the video. So I'll explain to you in a little bit more detail when we get there. But for now, I'm just going to let you see me do a little bit of the painting of the sample piece and then I will let you go right into watching me actually paint the dollhouse roof itself. Now once the first coat had pretty much dried, I went ahead and I made a lighter color of the gray. And I took some sponge, and it's honestly just some packaging that I had received in some delivery that I keep here in my studio for this kind of thing. And I just cut off a little piece and I'm just dabbing it randomly over the original gray. Now you could use a piece of packaging like this as well, or you could use a makeup sponge. Might even be able to get that with some paper towel if you don't have makeup sponges, but just something that has a little bit of a texture to it. It'll add a little more interest and keep you from just adding extra lines and covering up the gray. Because I just wanted to bring out a little bit of a lighter shade. I'm really just playing around at this point to kind of figure out the look that I want to have. I had some ideas in my head, but I wasn't quite sure exactly how it was going to turn out. So I'm trying a few little things here and then adding a few little layers until I'm happy with what comes out. Now, once I had gone ahead and done the lighter coat, I'm coming back in with a bit of a darker uh, color. So I have mainly black here that I'm dotting on, again, just to give that dimension, not to, to make it so it looks like it has some texture to it, like a real roof sh shingle would. And so I'm just dotting that on. And overall, I was really happy with the effect. So I was excited to go ahead and get started on mixing up my color and then painting it on the roof. Once I had been happy with my sample pieces, I started mixing up some paint. I did not focus on mixing up enough at a time so that I knew that it was going to cover the whole roof. Because I knew I was going to be adding texture and variation, I wasn't too worried if the shades were a little bit off. And you'll see later on that where I had to stop and mix more paint, that there's definitely some color variation. But it's okay because when you go in and add the texture, it all works out. If you're not adding texture to your roof and you want to keep everything looking very cohesive, then I would recommend that you mix up enough paint to do both sides of your roof or to do your entire roof in one go. Or if you've purchased the color, of course, then you wouldn't have to worry about something like that. But if you are mixing up your paint, that's just something you might want to keep in mind. shows up on camera but there is some variation in color on here uh, probably from when I was mixing the colors and not getting the exact um, right shade when I added to them but it's okay because I'm going to be adding some texture onto here anyway so it'll help me um, mask all of this so what I am going to try to do is mix up enough paint so hopefully um, I'll have enough to do this entire side and then I can work on the other side so what I'm using is I have a um, piece, <clears throat> I have here a piece of foam. It's just some packaging. I don't know what it, what it came in or what came with it. Um, but I'm just cutting off a little piece of it. And then on my plate, I'm going to mix up a similar uh, color, but I'm going to go a little lighter at first. If you can see here, this was the sample one that I did. So I'm gonna do, it got a little heavy handed here, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna start off doing some light and then I'll see I might come in and add um, 
some darker tones underneath too, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to start off by mixing up my colors. this side and I'm really happy with how um, the texture is coming out so I'm going to now um, using the same paint because I mixed up a ton I'm gonna go and do the other side and then I'm gonna come back in and add some darker texture in certain areas so I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do that I just wanted to bring you in a little bit so you can see how it definitely has some variation so we don't have just a solid gray color here on the roof. So I'm going to let this, this is the original side, I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. I just touched up an area here and then I'm going to come back in with a little bit of a darker color just to add to different areas of the roof. So that's what's going to be next. Okay, so I've mixed up just a little bit of um, a darker color on that same plate and I'm just going to add it here and there. Um, I think mainly like along the um, ridges here and see how that comes out. So I am really happy with how this looks. Um, it's got some nice texture so it looks more than just painted cardboard like it was. So we have the different layers. I was worried that the shingles may not show through as much once they were painted that they kind of mush together but it, everything looks really really good I'm gonna let this dry overnight I'll take a look at it tomorrow and see if I want to add any white to it but honestly I think I'm gonna leave it where it is for now uh, when I paint the front of the house if this feels too dark in contrast I might come in and just add a little bit of uh, white in the same technique but for now I'm just really really happy with how this came out I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the description where I have a link to the accompanying blog post. And if you have any questions, please do feel free to comment. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Happy miniaturing. Take care.